Nana Food and Agri Products Special. Let's now make our way to Ahmedabad, the land of enterprising entrepreneurs. We'll visit a company there that makes unique herbal and organic agri products, insecticides, pesticides, and more. Take a look. Ahmedabad in Gujarat has always been a hub for all kinds of industries, including the food and agri products sector. One of the many companies from this sector is Maxima Biotech, a 12-year-old company founded by Dr. Kandar Bakshi. With a PhD from USA, Dr. Bakshi has a professional experience of over 25 years and has had successful stints at companies like Gujarat State Fertilizers, Gujarat Inject, etc. Journey begins uh, in a very modest way, but idea behind this enterprise was a big reason. The, the first year of the uh, operations were very modest. Uh, the turnover we achieved was 10 million rupees. A very modest uh, beginning of a very big journey. A strong infrastructure paired with sophisticated and modern machinery has been the reason for Maxima Biotech's success story. Located at Changodar in Ahmedabad, the plant is equipped with semi-automatic and automatic machines for formulation and packing. Its range of products includes herbal and organic agri-products, insecticides and pesticides. We are into biopesticides and uh, 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 nourishment sector of a broader sector called agrochemicals. What would you say is the single biggest differentiating factor of your company? Standout feature of our company is our business philosophy. We don't provide products, we provide solutions to the farmers. So uh, that, is, that is how uh, our entire product range or entire company is working. Are you into domestic sales only or do you export as well? No, we, we, we export also. We have, uh, we, uh, our 50% revenue comes from the export and 50% from domestic market. Which are the countries that you are currently catering to? Uh, we, we export to Spain, Peru, Bolivia, Australia, uh, South Africa, uh, Germany. Uh, we export to uh, Israel also. In South Asian countries, we export to Philippines, uh, Thailand, Malaysia. So what strengths do you see in the Indian market as far as your product category is concerned? A huge uh, scope, huge strength. Currently, per to, uh, only 0.5% of the total cultivable land is under organic farming. So uh, even if it, it, it converts into 5%, it, there, it will give huge uh, boost to the organic sector. And, I, and uh, again, there is a replacement uh, chance or opportunity for chemical uh, options. Right. If that happens, then this cell can be exponentially uh, growing in coming next five years time. And that is how it, it, will, it will be. So what's next on the plans of Maxima Biotech? Where do you want to take the company from here? What we have targeted is we should reach, uh, around, uh, we should reach uh, 100 crore turnover by 2016. And by 2020, we should reach uh, the turnover of 250 crores. Uh, we, we will do it by expanding our product range. Uh, exploring newer market and uh, uh, diversifying into uh, related field. So what sort of steps does the company take to ensure international level quality standards? We implement uh, ISO uh, 9000 practices along with our all products are certified by international standards of organic certification whereby we have to uh, follow the stringent uh, quality control uh, measures which is set by ISO and the mm -hmm. certification agency. We don't use word chalega in our company. Nobody from uh, down the line to me is allowed to speak word chalega. Quality has always been a top priority for Maxima Biotech. And through its sophisticated and knowledgeable R&D wing, the company manufactures the best quality of products in a cost-effective manner. Basically, the manufacturing process is a blending, or you can say it is homogenization. Homogenization of uh, different substances. Then the, uh, the process involved is filtering, then packing, packing in bottle or pouches, then uh, labeling, then uh, shrinking, and then packing. Sima Biotech aims to become a 100 crore company by 2015 and a leader in offering crop care and organic health care products. It constantly improves efficiency of its products and processes, minimizes their environmental impact, and positions itself at the forefront of the industry's technological developments. Maxima Biotech is uh, 
developing a new sector. It's taken a while for the company to ramp up given it was established in 2000 and the turnover is still only about 20 crores. Uh, this is not unexpected given they're trying to create a new industry. Uh, but from my perspective, I think they've chosen an industry which has a lot of promise. And hopefully if they continue to invest in R&D and continue to innovate, they should start seeing traction particularly in the export market.